So, uh, hey guys, today we're going to be building a cursed deck. So, have, have you guys ever wondered, what is the dumbest way I could possibly play tier limits? Today, I'm uh, going to answer that question. So, tier limit, uh, if we're thinking about tier limit, there, there is something we can do. So, first off, I think we're going to be running at least one of Nibiru. So so we'll uh, throw in this Nibiru. But there is one thing about tier limits which is uh, worth mentioning, right? So tier limits triggers off of being sent by literally any card effect. So it, it could be something completely dumb and just we, we can just send uh, for example I guess, Havness, and this will just trigger Havness, or we can send Celiac, and then this will get us uh, Tier Elements Rhino Heart. So, well, how can we do this in the dumbest way possible? So, already we've kind of been through the fact that we can kind of access Tier Elements through... Uh, our uh, punk cards and that is honestly too efficient too good for me so we can't do something that clean yikes and honestly i think we we can maybe put in more copies of grief i'll, I'll look into this later for this but um for, for now we'll just leave in two grief and if we just look at punk real quick the idea is simply that we can Go through the entirety of this line, go into Rising Carp, and then Rising Carp gets summoned back. We make a Synchro 8. In this case, we can do um, Diablantis, and then turn Diablantis into a Tuner. And then Rising Carp Diablantis makes Tzulkin. We can set a card, which we can easily search off of either Madame Spider, or we can search it off of Wagon. And then we set the card, and this triggers Tzulkin. In case... We want to do Ancient Fairy Dragon, of course. Then we would summon Wagon to grab the Field Spell. Then we can set the Field Spell that triggers Tzulkin. Tzulkin effect will special summon Ancient Fairy Dragon. And then we can pop the Extreme Session to grab Perlarino. And then when we activate Perlarino, we can just add Rhino Heart. And when we add Rhino Heart here, we can very easily um, just use Ancient Fairy Dragon to special summon Rhino Heart. Then we can Chillament combo as much as we want from there. So this is clearly, clearly a, a bit too clever. So what if we went dumber? What if we went more unviable? Well, I have a strategy for you guys today. So we want copies of Hidden City. We want copies of Subter Guru. And we're not going to be able to do this on the first turn. Very, very likely that we are not going to be able to. So, how are we going to do this exactly? Well, pretty simple. We're going to uh, grab, well, let's grab Phoenix first. And then let's grab maybe Umasrix. And we don't need that. Uh, Voltaire Luric. We, we won't really need that either. And boom. How many of you guys knew about Subterra Behemoth? Phosphoro Glacier. Flip effect. You can send one card from your deck to the graveyard. This is not Foolish Burial. This is not Foolish Burial Goods. This is literally like Beatrice or Curious sending any card from your main deck to the graveyard. If we are able to, of course, summon this then. Uh, this will allow us to just do this. And also worth mentioning is, let's see. For some reason, I, I don't know why. So th this first effect, hard once per turn. Second effect, uh, flip face up, face down. Not once per turn. Just thought that was funny. But uh, yeah, if we wanted to, we can, of course, play Subterror Telemann. Is it going to be good? Oh, wh what kind of dumbass question is that? Of course, it's not going to be that good. Surely. I would hate if this were actually good. But, yeah. 
because of how uh, Subterror works essentially, we could also technically play Metaverse and that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Except if we were to Metaverse activate Hidden City, that actually doesn't search us a card I believe, so that, that, that will feel a bit miserable, but just in general, what we're going to do is not going to have really changed. And this only works on set monsters, right? Yeah. That, that is still a little bit useful, but a little, well, a good bit awkward. So, our primary goal here is just going to be to set up Behemoth, uh, Behemoth Boss Pharaoh Glacier. So, in terms of starters, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, fairly consistent, and then we have Light Reinforcement of the army. So this means we can probably get away with playing one grief or no grief. Let's see. Target a banished tier limit trap. That effect is not so good. So we could cut all of these or keep one of these. It doesn't super matter. And then we're going to just go uh, do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, just throw in some cards. And then uh, SP, I guess. Apollosa, sure, why not, you know? Are we missing anything super crucial? I guess there's like Redoer and Zeus. And I think these are most of the important ones, and then we'll go like Cult by Imperm. And we should brick a little bit of the time, but I guess we'll go to 41 cards, shouldn't be that problematic. If we go look at our extra deck here, Hmm. Well, the the cut is obviously probably going to be brief if we were going to 40 cards, but... Okay, extra deck. Hmm. Still missing some things. I, I believe the extra deck is mostly going to not matter for specifically the sub -tier stuff, and more so for the Tailman stuff, so... I guess... There goes to Pelia, Garura, we throw in those, so let, let's just throw in two of these, doesn't super matter. Garura... Do I have any more copies of those? Nope. Okay. Mud Dragon. Oh my, the spelling. We're struggling today. So, Mud Dragon, and then. Um, I don't know. Throw in one more. Rank 4, I guess. Baguska. And uh, this should work, I guess. And actually, I just noticed that this is the wrong Ash Blossom I don't have. Three copies of this Ash Blossom. Ugh, what was me. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to get this done. Alright. Let's go to, of course, my favorite solo gate, the best one for testing interactions because um, the danger solo, they're not, they're in general, not ever too afraid to activate effects, which makes them relatively ideal for testing decks. And showing off their um showing off interactions i guess right so let's go first and hopefully we just draw playable i believe i put in two copies of fiendus right and heartbeat grief i mean technically this is playable but we didn't draw into the sub terror stuff which is unfortunate we could easily combo from here with like this and then this just sends heartbeat right and then we can try to combo from here. But this means I clearly forgot about Cross Sheep. I think that's what it means. So let's check. Yeah, okay. This hand, not so great. Okay. So ideally though, with the sub parts of the deck, the cards we want to open the most is specifically the field spell. All of the sub cards are much worse without the field spell. So, yeah, that, that sucks. Oh wait, okay. Edit deck. And then let's go grab a copy of Crushy. Uh, we won't really need Baguska here, so... We'll just grab Crushy. And chill. Okay, we are going first. Hopefully we open a hidden city. I don't super care about everything else. 
I'll have this. And then two copies of Fiendus. Epic. Uh, nope. Well, the crime is Giga dead. Keep for going. Alright. Let's see, what do we got here now? Still no field spell. Wow, am I unlucky. I mean, th this is still, like, combo for tier, at least, so... That's certainly something. Alright, Hidden City. So the tier element cards don't go into the sub tier cards, but the sub tier cards can, of course, go into the tier element cards. So we're going to do this effect now. We're going to search. Guru. You can just set this heartbeat, right? Or get one card, then send one card from your hand to the graveyard. Yeah, that doesn't mean much to me here. Set Guru, field spell effect. This will allow us to flip Guru. And then we will grab final battle. Or we can instead grab Behemoth, but we can wait on Behemoth actually, right? So let's grab instead final battle. And th this will take a little bit of time, I guess, right? Two copies of Cold Vine, not bad. That plays around some stuff. Uh, this effect... I think we're okay with this, right? We we're just going to use our Omni Negate. And we're going to chill. Uh, we still have one more called by, so it's probably okay to called by this. Not a big deal. I don't know how many copies of Beige are being played in this deck, though. Maybe it does matter, maybe it doesn't. Uh, that effect is fine, it doesn't do anything. Nightmare Phoenix? Oh, yucky. Okay. What are they targeting here? Heartbeat. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And then... This hasn't activated yet, we can just... Well, actually, this doesn't activate, it doesn't get triggered off of that. So I guess we just banish the Zephyrus, and that's fine. We can chill. Uh, we can never get attacked into here, so we're fine, right? Uh, we need to read this real quick. Once return, change one face down, defense position. No, this one. Once return, one of the monster declares an attack, you can change one face down, defense position, sub terror monster you control to face up attack, or defense position, then you negate the attack. Yeah, we're, we're fine. This is only a negate, not a negate destroy, so we just chill. Then we're unicorn, okay. Uh, we can't allow that to happen. We won't be able to activate the quick effect like Book of Moon on Guru this turn, but that's fine. We still get the uh, surge. So that's great, I guess. Is that an access code? Ay ay ay. Okay. Then. We have no choice then. Okay. That's annoying. Our bun is a little juiced up here. So then we'll grab. A copy of Fiendus. Nah, I'm a favorite way to do this, but okay, as long as we keep the field spell, we should be okay. Yeah, alright, that's fine. Random X is good. Okay. Infinity and Permanence, great. That'll help. Effect. Special summon this in face down defense. We can't flip access good face down, unfortunately, but whatever, I guess. Uh, face up attack. Uh, there are no more Link Monsters to banish either. Okay. 
We'll need another copy of this. Pretty annoying, but whatever. We do get slowed down by having that final battle removed, but it's not something we can help, right? Yeah, it's fine. Right now there are no link monsters, yeah? Double checking. End of main. Now this is 2.3k. Bell phase, attack. When does this activate? A declaration? Nope. Uh, we can just do this now, it, it shouldn't matter. Uh huh, this effect. Great effect of Hidden City. Negate the attack. Yeah. Effect. Put my boy face down. Okay. And this should work now. Finally. So the the thing is, I don't remember what typing these guys have. Unfortunately. But okay, now we can finally grab our Subterror Behemoth Phosphoro Glacier, which is actually an Aqua. Oh, hold up. Now we're cooking. All right. Uh, this allows us to just summon Phosphoro Glacier, right? So we could do that, which is fine. The other option is to flip both of our cards face down here, right? With Guru. This can summon in face up or fa face down. You can just flip this face down though. Or this. It doesn't matter which one, right? I guess it can flip itself, right? Because we haven't flipped it face up yet. Can we go face down here? It could be face up, face down. It shouldn't matter too much. Then we actually can use Hidden City effect to flip this face up. Okay. Now this is flipped, now we can send. So here in this case, we're going to send... Probably Rhino is fine. So we'll go Rhino effect here. And then, this is turn 5 by the way. Unlucky, but it is what it is. Rhino 1, Hemnus 2, Rhino effect is going to send Tear Cash, and then we're going to just mill. Shouldn't matter too much unless we mill the one card I don't want to mill. That banishes that Rhino, yep. Sending Tear Cash. I'm just hoping within these 10 mils we don't mill Clash. If we mill Clash, I'm going to cry. Pretty simple. Okay. Not Clash. As long as we don't mill Clash, we're, we're going to be so much better. Okay, so now we grab Soleic is the safest thing to add, so we'll add that. And then this also adds Meta Noise. And then with this kick kill us here, we mill 10. Or we could have made Rukelis instead, actually. That, that was probably the smarter play, now that I think about it. Well, we just pray that these next 8 don't hit Clash, because that would ruin my day. Alright. The immediate first card milled was Clash. Really do have nothing to say about this. Hmm. Well, okay. Build a Sharon at least. Rukalos is decent here. So, whatever, I guess. Uh, 
Uh, now we're here j j just to suffer. Damn. Well, if I had Cave Clash, I I'd be able to keep recycling Fiendas, but now we, we can't. Epic. Go face down, I guess. And then... With this effect. What was Mothman's defense? I, I Wasn't it like low? Yeah, 400. Cool. We have definitely lethal here. And the interesting thing is we can play around Imperm at this point. And every single turn we'll be able to just send any card we want. So if we wanted to send Soliac, we could send Soliac for Rhino. If we wanted to send Hafness, we can fuse this alongside uh, Hafness to then make Kikelos to send Sharon. So... It technically works, and that that that's the best kind of working, you know, t technically functional. Well, let's see if we can at least get one more good hand, though. The other idea with tier cards is if I guess we open hard enough on tier, there is potential that we can cross sheep back like. Uh, a sub terror card, like maybe a Fiendus, and then bring back like the the uh, Guru, and that that's just something that would be nice if it happened, honestly. Well, yeah, that, that that's a big if, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this this isn't great. Hmm. What we can do is like this, though. We will probably just settle with the Book of Moon effect, I guess, and try to look through whatever our opponent has here. That will for sure work. Copium. Feelings. Wait, we can't activate that. Nibiru. Actually, though. Not bad. What the hell, man? Instant Bigfoot on my... Guru. Well, we still have Imperm. And we have Quick Effect Book of Moon here. It doesn't really matter what they normal. Alright. For destruction. Oh, come on, man. Again? How often does this happen to me? This can't be real. Okay. At least we have a second guru here. What can we do with a second guru? Not much, huh? Right. Of course. Oh my god, that that's disgusting. Uh, Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was the worst thing that could have happened. That was RNG danger hit. RNG. My opponent opens card destruction. Just play better. Okay. Not the hand I want to see. If we just have Hidden City by itself, it's just combo. Yeah. Game, please. Hidden City. This is probably the deck that gets most hurt by uh, terraforming, being banned. Straight up. Sub terror. Pain. When was the last time anyone has seen a sub terry player? Like, let's be real. Damn. None of these hands will be able to play against Danger Dark World. Damn. I mean, we can kind of get into the two stuff here, but not, not really to the extent I want to be able to. Damn. Okay, Hidden City, we have Rhino here. Let's chill. We can't access, like, both parts of this, so... Happens. I would much prefer to go into the sub terror first in this list rather than the tier, but okay. The tier milling, like, clash just hurts. Okay, so here... And just grab... Uh, final battle, and that that's not like that bad. 
We can like book a moon and stuff. We can also grab like a fiendus, but it's like eh. Whatever's fine really. Just yeah. Is it super matter? Okay. I should have kept one in hand, but Oh look, card destruction again! Would you look at that? I have Ash Blossom to a spring this time. A dealing. Damn. Oh. Epic. Don't milk clash, don't milk clash, don't milk clash, don't milk clash. Please don't milk clash. That is all I ask for. Do not milk clash. So I guess we can just add Rhino for next turn. Goodness. Oh, that milled my other Rhino. That's fine. And then we can go Kikilos here. One. But oh, that milled the Behemoth. We can put the Behemoth back if we want. But actually, I don't think we want to. Just put the... The Rhino in the graveyard back. Okay. Kikal, so that was Havnus, so now we just send Sharon, and we should be solid. So, one, two, back for Kikal. Okay. Uh, honestly... I'd rather that not trigger. Best case scenario, it snipes itself, but that, that is a 25% chance. We're, we're just not going to risk it. Oh, we can actually just send Scream. Yeah, sure, why not? Add Meta Noise. Four. Set one pass. Okay. Uh, what does this say on it? If this card is normal or special summoned, it doesn't have any effects relating to flipping, I guess. Well, no need to quick effect book him in here, I guess, then. Okay. We, we drew into, once again, Rhino. That's epic, I guess. Okay. Flip. Back to activate. Now here, what we want to grab is... Looks like Clash will work. We just want to be able to attack directly, we do not know the set. Uh, the tier stuff we're going to just leave for a second, right? I think there is a smart way to play this, so we'll try. Okay. So, we have Final Battle and Scream here. We can just activate Scream now that we have Clash, it shouldn't matter. Uh, we just need specifically to inflict battle damage when? With a sub -terror. okay. So, we'll just play around this being a big guy. Mm, there was no need, okay. And then if we want to inflict the most damage, we would do this. And then we can do, uh, like, this. And then we would activate effect to change as well right right now and then this would get boosted after i don't think that's lethal is it oh wait no it is isn't it no wait th there was a guy all right yeah that wouldn't even be lethal but okay wait that flips this face down as well all right uh, i'm ill and we can't attack well i didn't know about that ruling, but okay, that stopped me from attacking, so I can't 
I, I can't grab the fiend. Well, 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 we'll just pass, I guess, then. Can I send face down cards? No, right? Yeah, okay. Raquel is gonna send itself here, whatever. I forgot I had to flip uh, Guru for Guru effect. Truly a brain off moment. So let's reset back to that point in the last turn, I guess. I sure milled cards. Sure are cards. Here's my other fiend is. That doesn't do anything. Now that we have Clash, we don't even need to activate Final Battle to uh, trigger our card effects, and it's easier to get our searches done now. What card are we even searching at this point? One of these guys, I guess. Oh, here, we can actually, okay. Another Guru, whatever. Uh, here, I think the optimal way to play this is like this. This is kind of what I wanted to do earlier, but whatever. Set this. Oh, we're going to flip this now. Back to banish. Flip. I'll flip. We'll add whatever we have left to add, I guess. Another copy final battle. Sure, why not? And then flip over Rukelos. Then go battle, I guess. Like, we would normally win here, but we just want to proc Clash here to showcase the synergies, so. Clash effect. Now I want to add our copy of Fiendus. Mean two. Pink off. These two. A sheep. I uh, don't care about that right now. Okay. Activate this. Alright, fine, Mel. Whatever. Leave me alone. Abness. I mean, I guess we could. Let's do Kikilos, I guess. So, uh, one. And then we have one in the graveyard as well. Wait, th this didn't get banished? Wait, how was the scent? Yeah, this was supposed to get banished, but it, it, because I flipped it face down, it's not banished, right? Another random synergy. Okay. So we'll just summon Kikelis there for the time being. Uh, what can we add? Heartbeat, grief. Yeah, whatever, just give me grief for the time being. Jor. Doesn't super matter. And then I want to activate Fiendus effect. And Fiendus can change anything to face down defense. So we'll change Masterix, I guess. And then we'll be able to special summon Behemoth face down defense position. And then we still have final battle to uh, resolve. Our field is a little bit clogged, but whatever. Behemoth. This can send anything. So we have crime in the graveyard, and to get crime back, we would have to send heartbeat. So we send heartbeat. Heartbeat effect to grab back. I guess Zuliac or crime. Both are like pretty fine. We'll grab Zuliac actually. I changed my mind. And then we can just do this. Okay. And then like. I don't know, something like this maybe? SP? This can banish anything anywhere, right? Yeah. We should have banished, I guess, Grepha, but that's fine. Not that important. Let's empty out the deck, I guess. Hmm. 
Mill eight. Sure. Why not? Shouldn't matter that much. My side. Well, we can do... Lido, I guess. One... Two... Three... Then... I guess. Whatever. Opponent has no response. Yep. And then we don't really even need the guru at this point. It would just be nice to have. Because the Book of Moon, I in fact I don't think is that great. We can just behemoth whenever we want now. And right now I don't have anything I really care to send to whatever send nip. And we can just set this, flip this over, back and forth. So now we have foolish burial on demand and also um we have banish uh, our opponent's monster on demand. Just whatever. And if we leave this face up, and let's say we attack with this, we can add a Fiendus back to our hand. So we also get an Omni Negate, actually. So, surprisingly cracked. And also, it's hard for our opponent to attack into our cards because we also have Hidden City. So that is essentially the, the full strength of the board if you can ever manage to get into it but yeah not that likely but synergies exist surprisingly so uh yeah that's all i got for you guys today and i'll see you guys in the next video bye